Welcome CSE 102 class. Welcome to the spring 2020 semester. I'm recording a new video just to review my warn a little bit just because the one I had was a little bit older and there's been some changes. I was going to record this with an inset picture of myself narrating this but my hair was a little messed up. It looked like I just rolled out of bed which I didn't and the light wasn't that great so we're going to do this without looking at me but you'll see a picture of me later but anyway i'm sure you know how to log into my warren you can just click on here on the website and you could log into my warren and up here you'll use your student id and then you'll have a default password to start with which is usually your birth date and the last four of your social security so you would log in that way so i'm already logged in so i'm sure you know how to do that but once you log in i'll just close this up i have a couple windows open here because i have a old version and a new version of my Warren so that you can kind of see some things that were active from the previous semester. So this is an old version. Actually, here's a new version. You're going to see something like this, finding your way through e-learning, which you probably don't have to read because I'm doing it right now. So if you click on announcements, you're going to see something like this and I'll have a welcome. Let me just look at the previous semester and the previous semester now that they start with the newest thing. So it was with the final exam. So if we go way back down to the bottom, the semester will start off with finding your way through e-learning and then they'll be welcome to CSE 102 online and first week instructions and things like that. Make sure when you see these you hit read more because sometimes there's a lot of stuff here about the semester, especially for an online class. So there's a lot of bullet points here, so make sure you read through this. What I wanted to point out here with the older version is a couple things. We're looking at announcements right now. Here's course information, which is a picture of me with, with more hair than you'd see when you see me now. It doesn't have any dates and times because it's an online class, but it does have office hours. If you go to syllabus, you're going to see a downloadable syllabus in PDF format. Now, this is an older one. I have a new one up for the new semester, but I usually try to put these in PDF format because if you use Chrome, you could just click on these and there it is. It'll just open up in Chrome and there's your PDF version of the syllabus. I also have an FAQ, which is Frequently Asked Questions, if you're not familiar with FAQs are, but you probably are. And there's a bunch of these here. One of the things you're going to ask about is, can I use Google Docs? I recommend that you don't. It, you can use it for some exercises, but, and I know it's convenient, and you've used it in high school if you're coming from high school, but it, it's really hard to do some of the exercises with Google Docs. So you can download Office for free, and I'll show you how to do that. But make sure you check out the FAQs. I'll close this up. Coursework is where you're going to be a lot of the time, and th again, this is from last semester, so these are closed right now, but when you click on these units, the first unit will be real easy. You'll have an email assignment, uh, a pretest to take, you're going to do a discussion forum where you're going to just post a little introduction, and then we're going to edit your picture to put on there. I even put that in as a separate assignment. So when you do your posting pick, and then when we get into regular assignments, unit two is just some computer concept stuff. So we're not really uploading files or anything like that. So that's kind of more technology content for that section. But when you get to these, you're going to go into these things where we're going to start off with a file where you're going to upload and download stuff and you're going to be able to upload files. Now these say F because I didn't do them for every single one. Uh, if you don't upload something, it comes out as a zero and as an F, but this is where you're going to go to download files and upload files when you're finished, all under coursework. So there should be somewhere around 11 or 12 units. I don't think I, I always go to the 15 units because I, I clump them together a little bit differently, but I'll try to go to 15 if I can. Remember, this is a two credit class. Let me go to the new version because this is the version you're going to be looking at for this semester for spring 2020. Where I have a lot of information is documents and resources. And this can be kind of confusing to look at because it gets out of order. I'm viewing this as faculty right now. Let me put it as students. And that probably won't help things, but here's handouts. Now handouts are PDF, so you'll get something like this and you'll be able to look at your instructions of what to do for the assignment for posting your pick. Now these are older right now, so I mean the, the files are older, so I'll put updated files on there. And computer concepts, there's just note sheets of PowerPoints, and a lot of times you're going to be watching videos, which I'll show you where that is. But anyway, just so you know, under documents and resources, handouts is anything that's like a PDF file. Anything that you could physically print out including these screenshot things and, and uh, netiquette statements. These are all required links for online courses. But again, I'm giving you the little preview right now, so you probably don't have to look through finding your way through e-learning, but you may want to check out the netiquette statement. 
And then when you get into regular files, these will be the instructions for the different assignments. You know, we do like a practice one and we do very basic stuff with Word before we start doing some exercises that require some more skills. So anyway, we're going to go from Word to Excel to PowerPoint. But notice if you go through here, there's Unit 3 and then it's like, oh, Office Software and then it goes to Unit 4. I'm not sure why this stuff gets out of order, to be honest. But one thing I do want to point out is if you're concerned about how to get free Office software, I have links here to sign up. And there's actually a, a downloadable sheet. There's a flyer here that you could click on. I think this is from the library that has some instructions on it. And you could look at that. And if not, if you just want to go right to the link, I think this should still work. Let me make sure it does. And you should be able to get started with Office 365, and you're going to enter your school email address. So your, your student.warren.edu you have to put in here. You can't use your Gmail address. To get it for free, you have to use the school's email. So if you go through here, you should be able to do that. You could download a version for Mac or Windows, and it's the full Office package. It's not just, it's not just 365. It's actually downloading the file as well as using 365. So that's in here under Documents and Resources. And again, even I have links in here. These are still handouts, but I have links in here that you can kind of check that out. So if you want to download that. So, so most of the instruction files are going to be in here by unit. Now this is Documents and Resources Handouts. Now if you go to Documents and Resources Bookmarks, they're links. And some of the things you'll see here are Microsoft Resources, differences between the different versions, reasons to upgrade to 2016, even though that's not that new anymore. There's a lot of free resources here, which is why we don't really use a book. I've been evaluating a Cengage book so far, but there's enough resources where we don't need to really go through the book. I create the exercises and you do the exercises and I have videos for those. So I'll use those to see if we can find any more things or if we want to create something where it's auto graded and stuff like that. But I usually don't do that, at least when I teach the course. So there's lots of resources. Here's some PowerPoints. Now, even when I supply you with PowerPoints, you're going to have PowerPoints that you could just click on them and it's going to go to like a slide share. This is through LinkedIn. It's slide share. So you don't actually have to download PowerPoint files. You could view the PowerPoints in here for computer concepts. And you could use these when you take a quiz about computer concepts. And let's see, we got PowerPoints here. Here's one for Word, for Excel. Not a whole lot. I don't show a whole lot of PowerPoints because I have the videos. Now for the videos, you're going to have a playlist for computer concepts, for intro to Word, and for Excel and for PowerPoint, I have these broken down in four separate playlists. And the computer playlists are kind of me going through the slides. So it's just instead of going through the PowerPoints, I talk you through the PowerPoints if you like doing that. But these things, when you, when you click on the playlist here, and some of these are going to be updated. So these things are old. And, you know, this is the old My Warren. You're getting the new one right now. But here's the old My Warren video. And there it is. You'll see my little intro. And then I'll talk over it just like I'm doing right now. And I'll have a whole playlist over here for different things that you're going to do for Word. So these are all the Word exercises that you can follow through. This is a link to the different playlists. In some classes, I just have a playlist for the one class as a whole. But in here, I break them down into Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and just our little computer concepts thing at the beginning. And the intro ones are going to be under the Word playlist. So what I'm recording right now is going to be under the intro Word playlist. And I think that's all that's under bookmarks right now. So. The only other thing you're going to have to, I guess, just be aware of is discussion board. And because it's an online class, discussion board counts as attendance. So make sure you do the discussions. I don't make these real formal, but try to do them so that you have experience in here. Here's student introductions. Somebody put one in already and instructor introductions. So when you go in here and look at mine, you know, you'll see my little blurb here and I'll record a video and I'll put a new picture in here. Uh, a more current picture of myself in here, but I already have my in introduction in here. And you're going to do something like that. It doesn't have to be this long, but that's the discussion board. And you'll have to do something like that uh, every every week I try to do. Sometimes we, we may have some things where we may not exactly do that because we have another assignment. It kind of takes precedence over that. But we'll try to do that because, again, that counts for attendance. So even if you're completing exercises and taking quizzes, you should make sure you do these because that's just school policy that they say this counts for attendance. So please do that. And anything else in here, your grade book, you'll be able to go here, check your grade book. There's no grades yet. That should be pretty self-explanatory. As far as the course calendar, I'll usually open up assignments, usually one week at a time. I usually don't open up the whole semester because I have to update things from one semester to the next. So I don't know if that'll help you a whole lot. But again, announcements, coursework, 
Under documents and resources, just remember there's handouts and there's bookmarks. Bookmarks are links, handouts are PDFs. And what I try to do with the handouts or what I've tried to do the last couple semesters is put the instructions in here by unit so that if you have to download a file, which a lot of times you're going to be downloading a file that goes with the assignment, you could do that within the assignment in coursework, download it there, but you could always have your instructions out here. So that's the way I'll try to do it. So if there's a couple assignments for unit one, I'll put the instructions here. If there's a couple assignments like here, there's unit three, there's a whole bunch of instructions. And not only will there be instructions here, but they'll also be samples. So I'll usually put instruct if it's instructions, and I'll put sample if it's a sample, and I'll put notes if it's just notes. But usually you're gonna have instruct and sample. If I go down further here, you'll probably see some more where here's resume sample PDF and then there's instructions PDF. So the sample is to just look at and look at this and that's the way it should be formatted. This will be set up for setting up tabs and indents and hanging indents and rules and alignment, you know, real basic stuff. So that's why I give a PDF. So don't go out and get PDF converter software to convert PDF stuff into Word. These exercises aren't that hard. So just it's just a visual sample for you to look at. So that will be the sample to look at. And then you're going to download a Word file that will already be started. So you don't have to do a whole lot of typing. Occasionally you will, but most of the time you just have to do the formatting. So that's the Word stuff and then Excel stuff and PowerPoint. So it's not that bad. Just keep up with it because you, you don't want to fall behind and be doing this the last week of the semester because, you know, it was online and you didn't bother to do it. And I didn't give you real hassle about having things late. I will open things up if you, you know, if you have something that's late, I will open them up. But but don't skip doing a bunch of things and think you're going to make it up at the end of the semester because you won't. If you, if you don't do it now, you're not going to do it then. So uh, try to stay with the schedule. If something happens and you get something late, I'll open something up for you. Or if you missed a quiz, I'll open something up for you. So, But don't push it because you, you won't do it. And you, you don't want to be making that up when the weather gets warm and you want to be out doing other things. So, so anyway, that's your little intro of my Warren. There'll be some other videos that'll go over specific uh, assignments as far as downloading things and uploading things and all that. But this is just the basic overview because it did change a little bit from the previous videos I had. So anyway, that's your introduction to my Warren, and again, welcome to CSE 102 online, and this is for spring 2020.